Mrs. Odin's. I recognize his atrocious taste anywhere. Look at that! It's the missing panel about here. Odin must have stolen it. But why? He always has his reasons. Might I have a look? Well, this is most unexpected. Why? What does it mean? I haven't the foggiest. Isn't that unexpected? Head. Look, clearly that's tear. Traveling somehow. Perhaps magically. But what's that to do with the giants that they should devote a shrine to it? I'm afraid that is none too clear. What are those runes in the corners? Not runes. Symbols from different lands. They mean... War. Aye. How do you... This one I know too well. Oh. His eyes. They are jewels. Like yours. No doubt signifying the gift of sight the giants granted us. Give me a closer look. Interesting. Very interesting. What is that? Secret plans concealed by Tyr so none could access but him. And those few others the giants trusted. And right under Odin's nose, ho ho ho! I did promise I'd get you to Jotunheim. What do you mean, Ed? You said we were out of options. Don't you see, brother? Odin never gave up hope, and neither should we. He knew there was a clue in here, but we're the ones who found it. These plans are for a key to some chamber tears kept hidden. I don't know where it's leading or what we'll find, but it's a path. How do we make this key? I suggest we ask a dwarf. That symbol on the temple door. It's a bunch of rooms together. Peace, unity, hope, other things too. Tears own design. He made this door himself. See anything? You did not see me with someone. An old man. What old man? Can we go? Yes. Very well. All right, let's get back to Midgard and see about making that key. Where's that dwarf? not tell us Balder is the son of Freya. He is! It's shocking every time I hear it, and yet obviously I know it. But when I think about Balder and Freya... The mayor? Yes, lad. <laughs> Freya. How's that, brother? Ed, tell me Balder's vulnerability. Balder is blessed with invulnerability to all threats, physical or magical. Wait, what is happening? He is bewitched not to speak of what he knows. I am? I am! Oh, that's it precisely! I wonder how long that's been so. 
since she had my head at her mercy, but back when I figured out Baldur's weakness. I'm here. Yes, lad. You just said you figured out Baldur's weakness. Did I? But Baldur is blessed with invulnerability to all threats, physical or magical. <sighs> Enough. This means there is a way. If he troubles us again, we will find it. Frigg. Well, that's more of a pet name, you see. Queen's beloved. Something Odin called Freya after they wed. Out of affection at first, or so I like to believe. As things turned sour, it became a way to manipulate the truth. So, Odin didn't want Freya, a Vanir goddess, getting credit for anything in Asgard. So anything worthy she accomplished was attributed to Frigg. Like being Baldur's mother. That's right! Freya was Baldur's mother all along. Can you make it? Is it a weapon? Armor? Or likewise an instrument of war of which I'm a master at shaping? No? Then forget it. Even if I wanted to make such an insignificant goo-gaw, I'm liable to chink my tools working on something so delicate and ladylike. Then shingle it. Pattern weld the item with scap slag. Keep the layers thin. Alternate the overlay. Okay, smart guy. And where do you propose to find a lump of quality scap slag? Last time I saw one, I could still get rigid down south. Shut your mouth, is that... Where did you? I had to get my hands dirty. <laughs> <laughs> well, don't just stand there. Let's do this. What? You? You're fine with working on something that's not a weapon? Well, hell, why not? <laughs> what? I can grow too. Oh, what? Watch the spine. Keep your wrist loose. No, you keep your wrist loose. Yeah, I need more heat here. Coming up. You gonna temper that steel longer? You don't need to. I triple quenched it with Draugr oil. See, how inventive and sanitary. You clever little beaver. Never too late to learn a new trick, is it? <laughs> no, it's not. There. Here it is. Nope. Don't forget this. Quit your grinning. It's downright unsettling. <laughs> it's just nice to see you together. But now the rune on your brand looks different. Yeah, price of uh, reforging something what broke. I knew it. You two love each other. Oh, cut it out, Francis. You're gonna get me all weepy. I like the new one better. Don't you? We have work to do. No. Hey, look who's back up and about. Didn't I tell you it'd be fine? Now we just need to figure out what door this key opens. It has to be somewhere around the temple. the key, we can open that big door anytime we want. Let's explore. A 
Okay, I know I saw something. I saw it too. Freya did say the Jotunheim Realm Tower was missing from the lake. But maybe only kind of? Very strange indeed. I can't believe Odin and Freya were ever married. Love and hate are more closely intertwined than you might imagine. For instance, Odin hates the giants and they him. But Thor's own mother was the giantess Fjorgun, one of Odin's great loves. So Thor's half god and half giant? Where? Once Fjorgun was gone, lonely ages passed for Odin. And as war with the Vanir raged, I could see what he really wanted in his bluster. And after no small amount of convincing, they are agreed. For a while there, he really turned on the charm. He seemed happy. He seemed interested in making her happy. You know what? I'll tell this one later. Atreus, to me! I'm coming, I'm coming! <laughs> Tears ruin. This is it. Place. Your guess is as good as mine, little brother. The tree! We're underneath the realm travel room! But why is the floor on the ceiling? Those realm doors seem to mirror the ones above. Use the same magic to protect the Black Rune. The clue we seek may be inside. Huh. Right next to the Udenheim door. Interesting. But can we reach it? Not from here. One inner sanctum within another. Those tapestries. Looks like more giant art. Whatever it's here did for them must have been big. This is the rune for Jotunheim. That's right. And look! We're on the other side of the door. The upside down door. What are you thinking? Stand back. Okay. It's moving! What's moving? Everything! Ah! 
Extraordinary. The whole room is built on some kind of axle. There's chains on both sides. Without those... <clears throat> we can flip the temple. All right. Do you what now? Statues. I see them. It says void. Hmm. Ominous. Go on. Read. Before the first, after the last. Nothing between, no shadow cast. Oh. Are you quite sure flipping the temple is the only way to reach them, whatever it is? You said there would be a path. The temple can be flipped. Therefore, we flip the temple. The logic is unassailable. Ah, not sure what happens when we recklessly upend a room that's rooted to eight other realms. I'm curious, of course, but it's a leap to imagine it gets us to your night. I don't mind a leap. Well, who knows? Perhaps you and Tyr are the same kind of mad. Here, another. It says his name is Burgomir. I think Mother said he was the king of the giants. Ah, that he was. And quite a bit more. Looks like he had a lot of kids. That, little brother, is what we call an understatement. He's dead, but nobody killed him. Do giants die from old age? They may, though it's rare among the legends. An army of statues. I don't think they're the kind that come to life, if that's what you're worried about. Tyr often said that in the world of PC envisioned, the only soldiers he'd need would be statues. Bless his heart, but the bugger did take himself rather seriously, didn't he? 